I am going to show you a simple little technique for how to fix a mistake in a watercolor painting. And the mistake that I made here is right here. Um, maybe use this side for the pointer. Um, see there's too much brown coming up into his chin. His chin needs to come down like this more. So I want to erase some of this and reveal more white. Okay. So um, this is all a little bit wet, but that's okay. Um, I am going to re-wet all this with this paintbrush. See, this is a sable paintbrush, and it's pretty big. I'm going to wet this whole area. If you don't wet the whole area, you're going to get little weird lines because when you scrub the paint off, you want it to kind of disperse evenly into the area around it, if that makes sense. So I'm going to use a fairly dripping wet brush and I'm just going to paint over all this area that might be affected. Okay, so now that's fairly wet. All right, and now I'm going to take an oil painting brush with fairly short bristles. But as you can see, this is an oil painting brush with short bristles that are fairly stiff. It's not like, it, they're not like hog's hair that are really stiff, but they're pretty darn stiff. And I'm going to use that to scrub, 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 okay? So if you scrub too much, you're going to damage your paper. If you want to keep working this area, then you don't want to scrub too hard. I think I've got this pretty much done, so I'm not going to worry too much about that, but um, I'm just going to try to go as light as I can and scrub, scrub, scrub down into the fur. I'm going to rinse out my brush, get that paint that I picked up out of my brush, wipe my brush off, dry my brush off and now I have a slightly drier oil painting brush and that'll kind of lift out what I just scrubbed up. It'll lift out that paint. So you can see I got rid of that little area that was just too much brown and this kitty has a white chin. Okay, that's better. And then I'll go back in and with dark paint and kind of refine that chin. But that's basically how you use an oil painting brush with stiff bristles and wet the whole paper completely in the area where you're going to erase and just lightly scrub until you get the results you want. You can scrub fairly aggressively and get it whiter but then the paper will be damaged and just know that if you go and paint into that area, the paint will kind of vein into the white area and it, um, it just won't look good. So you won't be able to rework that area if you damage the paper too much. As it is, uh, I will be very limited in how much I can rework into that actual scrubbed area. Uh, it will not take the paint the same. It no longer has that sizing. It's been scrubbed down. So keep that in mind too. So that is how you scrub back a painting. And just another tip. This, it's a mess, but it is one of those magic erasers. You can take off a little tiny piece and I could have scrubbed. This is kind of a small area, but you can scrub, you, take, you wet this you can scrub, 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 and, and get some get similar results. And sometimes it doesn't scrub the paper as much. So try that too.